An emotional morning in West today as people gathered to honor the lives lost 10 years ago during a horrific explosion. Six News reporter Nicole Sheeran attended the ceremony earlier and tells us more about this meaningful day. Nicole. Bailey, April 17th, 2013 is a day the city of West will never forget. 10 years may have passed since the horrible explosion at the West fertilizer plant, but the tragedy still lingers. Captain Robert Lewis Snugouse. A moment of silence so for a night that many won't forget. Catastrophes happen in seconds. Their recoveries take years and in some cases decades. On Saturday, the community came together to honor lives lost after an explosion left a hole in the city of West. 22 minutes, the time firefighters and emergency responders had at the scene of a fire at the West fertilizer plant. Until... They tell me that I was the actually the closest to the explosion that actually survived the explosion. Robert Payne was one of the many that responded on April 17th, 2013. I was knocked out, so I don't remember the explosion at all, don't remember the aftermath of it, but so many of my fellow members that were there and they do remember everything are still having a hard time today dealing with it. Like Frank Patterson, the emergency management coordinator for McLennan County at the time. We, we transported 262 patients that night through that whole evening. Uh, that was the uh, that was the hardest thing. Is because you never knew it was going to end. Even 10 years later, the tragedy still lingers. It, it touches me because 10 years, you know, a lot of times you you know you forget after 10 years, and we we don't want to ever forget these 15 people that are that are. Uh, memorialized here at the memorial uh, and that lost their lives that day. The days, months, and years after the blast were spent rebuilding what was lost. This city truly recovered in a fashion that is incredible. New houses, new area, new neighborhoods, new growth, uh, new economic prosperity. That It is really, really, truly uh, wonderful to see. But the tragedy 10 years ago will always be remembered, just like the fallen heroes. Joseph Frank Joey Pustyowski Jr. The National Fallen Fighter Fighters Association presented a $100,000 check to the city of West to help preserve the Fallen Heroes Monument and work to maintain the community.